lions and tigers and bears. Oh my, I'm Jessica Keller and this is my family. We are Keller Family Exotics. Join us as we explore Serenity Springs Wildlife Sanctuary and check out all of their cool big cats and the other surprise animals they have as well. Let's get going. We're here with Will at the Serenity Springs Wildlife Sanctuary, and behind us we have Shakira the Liger. That's right, this here is Shakira. Shakira is a female liger, which means that she is half lion, half tiger. Her father was a lion, and her mother is a tiger, which gives her the color of a lion and the faded stripes of a tiger. Now, a couple of interesting facts about the liger. When you mix that lion and tiger DNA, you create something called an epic gene, which means she has no growth hormone to ever stop her from growing. Her endocrine system, her muscular system, and her skeletal system all grow at the same rate, and she'll grow 80% of her life. She could be somewhere between 800 to 1200 pounds one day. Here we have Louise and Marissa. They are two six week old female mountain lions. Now these two came from came to us from Missouri. Now I'm not quite sure what happened with the history of the mother, but they were donated to us to help them bring revenue in for all the big cats. And for doing that part, we will take care of these little girls for the rest of their lives. All right, right here we have one male black bear, a little bitty one, and then we have three females. We have one female brown bear and two female North American black bears. Now they are a little bit different in age. These guys are actually almost a year older than the little male. But he didn't have a companion, so we went ahead and introduced him, thinking it'd be all right. Uh, we waited for a while to, to let him get a little bit size into him so he could be able to take care of himself, but they seem to have been getting along fine. Uh, they, they don't seem to pick on him very much. And the females, you know, that now they're excited they have a little boyfriend, and he's excited because he has three girlfriends. Yeah, I'm sure he loves it. <laughs> now that is Pebble. She was the ring bearer for Barney's wedding and How I Met Your Mother. What's his story? Now, Lyle, uh, Lyle here is a wolf hybrid. He's actually uh, mostly timber wolf, but he's got a little bit of Malamute bred into him. He was actually a part of one of our last big rescues that we had, where we had went and got about six cats. And on our way out, uh, they said, hey, we have this little wolf puppy. Can you give him a good home as well? And of course, Nick has a big heart. And he said, yes, we can. So we brought Lyle here and he's here for our, our canine fans who come do the tour because can't have all cats. So uh, he's been here for a little over 40 years and he's a great little exhibit to uh, mix it up a little bit so we have more than just big, big cats. That's all. This is actually one of my favorite enclosures because you have four different kinds of cats here. You have the orange one, which is a golden tabby Bengal tiger, which is very rare. In fact, so rare that they thought it was extinct 30 years ago. But it turns out it's a recessive gene that lies dormant and it randomly comes up. And in the last 30 years, we've only been able to breed a little over 100 here on the planet. And then we have a regular Bengal tiger. And then coming by here in a minute, we'll have the white Bengal tiger. 
And then we have the coolest of the species. We have a hybrid, which is a tongue liger. Lakota is the only male in this enclosure. Now a tongue liger is a tiger father, a liger mother, which is a cool little hybrid. Now, interesting fact about the tongue liger, actually its mother, who's a liger, passed down the epic gene. So Lakota will grow twice the size of these other cats in his lifetime. Wow, and how old are they? These guys are just about 14 months old at the moment. They're all over 100 pounds. And that is the taliga right here. You notice he has spots on his head instead of stripes. Howdy, my name is Brandon. I work here at Spring of Springs. And um, to tell you today, I'm gonna tell you how we feed all the cats. Well, what we do is we free, we pack up a bunch of meat into these uh, big bus boy bins after we sort through it after it comes in on the truck every Tuesday and Thursday, and we let it uh, we let some girls come up and pick it up whatever we don't use. But uh, basically, that's all the seasoned stuff or the cooked stuff or like uh, poultry stuff like that. It's already kind of seasoned. So what we do is we sort through all that and then we go to where we have all the raw meat and then we take it and we let it dethaw for about a day or two. And then we pack it into big bus boy bins, and then the, each one of those, after they're frozen, weighs about 80 pounds, and then we freeze them. And then what we do is we pull them out one by one after we knock them out, and then we pull out about 14 and a half blocks, I'd say. Uh, actually, to date, every day we go through about 15,000, 1,500 pounds of meat a day. So it's a pretty big food bill. <laughs> But uh, each uh, one of these guys here would probably get about 10 to 15 pounds. Uh, your Siberians, they would get anywhere from 25 to 30 pounds a day. Uh, your regular fully grown tigers get about 15 to 20 pounds a day. So we just cut it up into little blocks, pretty much. And the uh, like the servers, the bobcats, and all that good stuff get uh, roughly about 5 to 10 pounds a day. The uh, leopards usually get about 8 to 10 usually right around there. Yeah, right here we're with one of my favorite cats, the Karakal, which actually means black ears in Turkish, which is the region they come from. They come from the Mediterranean Sea, all around the desert area, Afghanistan and that kind of place. At one time, the Karakal was known as the desert lynx. So they're not actually in the lynx family, but people were fooled by that because of their short tails and their little tufts on their ears. The tufts on their ears are actually used for hunting. They can feel the wind, and they actually use it like little antennas to hear their prey. A couple of cool, interesting facts about the caracal. Of all the felines, they can retract their claws further than any other cat, almost making a two inch wide big paw, like an eagle's claw. And they also have a 12 to 15 foot vertical jump, where they can jump up in the air and snatch a bird right out of the air. And even with a size just like this, They've been known to take down full-grown sheep or even small antelope. Wow. All right, let's go check out some lemurs now. We have one of my favorites here. It's the lemurs. It's our only primate that we have here on park. Now the lemurs have been around for a millennia. They've actually been around longer than humans have. Uh, they many different shapes and sizes. You have lemurs as big as gorillas, and you've had lemurs as small as mice. Uh, they've been around for a long time. The only place these guys actually live in the wild is the island of Madagascar. Off the coast of Africa, which is a little bitty island, and only about 10% of that island is habitated by these guys. Because of deforestation, uh, they have taken away all their habitat. Uh, and plus, they were hunted for their hides and for their tails and numerous different things. Uh, we have about wiped them out. They are the, the most endangered animal we have here on park. They're very special little creatures. They are primates. They do have a deep thumbs sun, just like this. Very special little creatures. I'm excited to help take care of them. Right here we have the Cotamundi, 
Now the Cotamundis and the raccoon family, they were usually based out of Central and South America, but now they've actually migrated as far north as Texas, New Mexico, and Arizona. Uh, they're in the, like I said, they're in the raccoon family. Uh, they are omnivores. They eat meat, eggs, fish, fruits, vegetables, all kinds of good stuff. Now, unlike our regular North American raccoons, instead of traveling in family packs, they travel in what they call bands of like 20 and 30. They like to make nests and live in the trees high above their predators. As you can see, these are great climbers. But just as nosy and just as uh, interesting as their regular raccoons, they'll get in just about anything that you allow them to. Willie here is one of our famous cats. Uh, he's actually on Animal Planet twice a year. It's called Big Cat Magic. He was actually famous for being the big cat in the sphere. They put a pretty girl inside a sphere, put a blanket over her, undo it, and it was a big cat. And he actually did that job until he got too big to fit in a sphere. Willie here is a Siberian tiger. He has a little game that he plays with me, a little bit of red light, green light, to show you the stalking abilities of a tiger. Uh, it's actually pretty interesting to watch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to act like I'm an unsuspecting prey. I'm going to bend down. And you'll need to tell me when he starts coming out. He's got one paw out. <laughs> Red light. Green light. Way out. <laughs> Red light. Green light. Red light. Green light. <laughs> He's just standing there. <laughs> Red light. Green light. <laughs> I would like to invite everyone to come join us down here at Serenity Springs Wildlife Center. We have a couple of different opportunities you can enjoy. On Saturdays and Sundays at 9, 11, and 3, we have a, an hour tour. And then after the tour, you have an opportunity to do five minutes alone with our baby mountain lions or get an 8x10 picture with your mountain lions. Uh, there's a couple of offers we, we offer. You can also go to eventbrite.com and do our nightly encounters during the week. And they have those scheduled times there on that website. I'd like to thank you for all joining us today. Come down and see us here at Serene Springs. <laughs>